Alright, what's up Dominators? Welcome back to the DJ Shy channel and today I present to you my personalized Angel Feather deck recipe. So uh currently been doing a lot of stuff lately as you can see my channel. Uh, we're almost hitting 2k and I will do a 2000 subscriber special very soon featuring me doing more Q&As actually uh, but addressing more in-depth concerns and maybe try to do a little bit of challenges here and there see what you guys recommend but for now let's just jump right into it we've got the new deck from VEB13 uh, Angel Feather, Tatsuya plays it in a sense and then uh, we've got a full layout so we're going to go through the cards, the skills, why do we run them and maybe last but not least a little bit of combos here and there so first off, we've got the new VR arc, Ada Malakuf Malek. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know whether I pronounced that wrongly, but whatever. Skill is when players calm plus two, and if your opponent's is, Vanguard is great too, you deal one damage, and if it's Gitcher Graver, you will cut from damage zone, so you can do a damage check, so it's considered like a rescue check in a sense. But if you think about it, doing your first ride, if your opponent is great too, that means you're going first calm plus to deal one damage to your opponent. So, just take note that you need to just crit them on grade 2 and then rush them down and push them to 5 damage before you ride up to grade 3 and then come up to just shoot them to death it's pretty easy right you know this deck is not that hard to play it's not no big brain strats here just push them to 5 and you're down grade 2 you ride up come up to you shoot the 6 damage now i'm just joking okay that's pretty trollish but whatever uh basically this deck uh revolves around Reviving your teammates from the damage zone, uh, from the damage zone, from the drop zone, back onto the field while taking the damage uh, that you uh, healed from your VR. Second skill is a, basically um, Soul Blast 1. You call up to 3 cuts uh, from the drop zone to Red Art Circle and 3 of your front row units gain 5 candy at the end of turn and deal this unit 1 damage. So you do perform the damage check again. Uh, so this VR has the skill of Compass 2, you heal 1. If your opponent is a great tree or greater. And then if you do heal one, you can pay the cost of reviving your few in a sense where you so plus one, you deal damage to yourself and you superior call tree, and your whole front row gains 5k. Uh it's a really good deck against clans that are able to remove your rear guards. But this deck at the same time helps to counter some Excel decks or some force decks in a sense where you're able to remove their important regards off the field, send them to damage zone and they heal a damage from uh, their damage zone uh, which puts the, push the cut from the damage zone back to the drop zone. So moving on, we have uh, four of the new VR of course, I think it's really strong, you should just play four. Uh, we have two old VR, old triple rares, not the VR but I consider it VR. Crimson Impact Metatron uh, skill, when written from a grade 3, Counter Blast 2, Claw a card from Very Zone, and this negates 15k, so it's a really strong card in which you heal one for absolutely free, so it's just a free Counter Blast 2. Most of the time, your opponent wouldn't bother to damage deny you, uh, unless they're smart enough in a sense. Uh, second skill is basically the Rescue Check, where you put a card from Damage Zone on the bottom of your deck, and deal this unit 1 damage, and it helps you, you know, to filter out your triggers in a sense, and it's a really strong card but i only run two off as you can see that we have only six great trees in that because most of the great uh three slots that i plan to play like maximum i would play eight if uh, you want to bump metatron count up to three it's fine is actually reserved for the great one and great two slot mostly the great ones uh because i feel that this deck relies on riding a lot if you do not continuously ride up from a great tree to great tree to great tree to great tree you will lose the game uh because most of the time, with Excel decks now being very strong and very meta, you have to keep up with the meta by, you know, keep reviving your teammates and keep healing and dealing damage to yourself to try to get the trigger checks in place um, in order to keep up with the meta. So, riding is a very essential part of this deck, and we should get to later why I run some cards that filters the deck a lot. But moving on, we have the Great 2. This Great 2 is basically the strongest grade 2 you ever get during a grade 2 turn and especially if your opponent rushes you in grade 1 it's a really really free remover uh it's called 8 rod zion so during your turn if a new card was put in the opponent's damage zone this unit gets 10 so it's a brutal jack a free brutal jack 19k beat stick and when he attacks the vanguard you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you may put into a damage zone if you do your opponent heals a card from his or her damage zone and and end of the battle you retire this unit so uh it self retires 
in which you know it, it, it sucks in a sense but against clans like Narokami where they buy the rare guts you are happy for it to retire so that you can revive it using Malako Malef's skill and the fact that it's a free so called free 19k beat still because of the second skill you put a rare guard into the damage zone and your opponent heals one it helps to get rid of your opponent's few and important cards as well while at the same time having uh, the power of a 19k attacker so it's a Probably a 10k card or 15k card, depending on our opponent, whether it's a great 2 or great 3. Uh, it's a really good card, uh, one of the best cards, in fact, in Angel Feathers. Moving on, we have uh, the PR. So, this PR is called uh, Ample Diffuser. It comes in the volume 7 of the PR cards when you participate in tournaments and shop tournaments. Reasons why you run for this card is because it's really, really, really strong and it really gives you the power boost that it needs. So Vanguard Rear Guard when it attacks, if your opponent's damage zone has one or more face up cards, this unit gains 5k and then a battle. If it has two, it gains 15k instead of 5. So it's a almost free 24k attacker because most of the time when you send cards from the opponent's field to the damage zone, they get to heal a card from the damage zone. Uh and most of the time if they have uh they have previously used their counter blast, so their face down counter blast, they'll heal their face down counter blast. And this enables most of your skills, especially this card skill, to be active and plus 15k instead of plus 5k. But unless your opponent plays it smart and you know he, can't, he or she can't guard it, so he'll heal the face up damage instead of the face down. But it's a really strong card, and I'm surprised it's a V slash R. I expected it to be a rare card circle only, but this is the best grade 2 turn where you either ride into. You actually ride into this card, which you'll get to later, Freezing Grunter or Triple Red. And then you call either Zion or her onto the field so you can rush your opponent down. And if you're going first, it's a really good tactic because when you ride up to Great Tree, if your opponent actually gives you two counter blasts, you make counter to shoot them for one damage. And providing your rush for Great 2 is quite important in this deck because you're able to rush your opponent down. And by Great 3 turn, if you're if if possible, you're able to you know just end them off completely. Moving on to Freezing Grunter. Uh, it's a pretty old super rare from uh, BTO7. When placed from hand, so plus one, choose one opponent rear guard to put in damage zone. The opponent chooses a card from his or her damage zone, heals it. Almost the exact same skill as Zion, but it has a cost other than attacking. Uh, it's when placed from hand, also take note. Uh, when it attacks, you may call plus one, and this unit gains 5k on the end of battle for each face up card in your opponent's damage zone. So it ties in well with uh, the high power at the same time being able to get rid of your opponent's rear guards. So both has the cost of Count Blast and Soul Blast, but in return you get higher payoff in terms of Zion. Zion is free though, but yeah, of course, this card stays on the field while Zion retires itself. So the Great 2 turn, as you can see, the 12 Great 2s that we play are all based on really high powers, and it ties in really well with the card we're going to run into later, which is uh, this uh, 8 Roy Lamedo. So moving on to the Great 1s first, we're going to uh, right to left. Yeah, from my right to your left. Uh, Health Fruit Tendon, obviously, fall off. It's a really, really free card. Uh, as long as you ride into, you're able to call it from the damage zone. It's free. So when roll upon, you may put this card to your damage zone face down and call a card from damage zone to regard circle. So this means that when you're riding up uh, into a grade 2, so you ride her previously already, you're able to soul blast, in a sense, soul blast her from your soul do the damage zone face down and then you may call a card or you can call her from the damage zone uh, to rear guard circle so it's a 13k attacker slash booster because of the second skill continuous rear guard if a new card was put into your opponent's damage zone this time this unit gains 5k really easy to achieve in a sense because you got Physic Hunter, you got 8 Roy Zion you got this to deal damage to your opponent I guess in a sense so it's really really free 13k booster and if you are great uh if you are great to rushing, you'll be able to call her uh, into the sidelines, like the front rear guard circle, and rush your opponent if you want. Moving on to this new card we have in VEB13, Escultate Angel. Reason why we run is because we have to filter out the Malako Melek for your constant rewrite. As I said before, if you do not constantly rewrite in this deck, you are just dying off really, really early, especially to Excel decks. So, still, when placed on hand, you may look at top 7 of your cards. If you do reveal one arch a the Malakum uh, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put a card, you put this card into your soul. So take note that you'll never, ever, prob most probably run out of soul in this deck because you'll be constantly rewriting. At the same time, you got soul from this card. 
So it's really, really hard to run out of soul uh, in terms of, you know, getting uh, users for, let's just say, Fusing Grunter or Malakum LF. Most of the time, you have to take note of the resource as well, especially your Crown Blast. Uh, your both VR takes two Crown Blasts in order to activate their skill, but obviously they refund back the cost in terms of the counter blast where you either do a rescue check or you know you heal damage in a sense so it's really really easy to get off but take note sometimes you are unable to get the two counter blasts off because either number one you use up two counter blasts uh, early or already too early so your opponent is damage denying you by giving you only one counter blast button or either that uh, you are just uh, then resource match well effectively and you realize that you're on four damage and you can't use two counter blasts because you know if you take the six damage you die Moving on to the new card we have in this set as well, Multi Medical Angel. Uh, so these two cards right here are your filters of the deck. Is skill act when if a new card was put into your deck zone, you put this into the ball of your deck, you draw two cards and discard a card from hand. So what these two cards is really filter out your VR or filter out the especially needy cards from your deck, uh, like the great twos or the great ones or most likely the great trees. Uh, it filters out a lot and even though you draw into like some of your triggers is fine because you really want to have the cards in your hand in order to end your opponent off and to get a consistency going of this deck is really important to have cards number one in your damage zone uh in your drop zone and number two in your hand since you can freely guard with the cards because most of the time you are using malakum left to bring them back from the drop zone into the field uh but as i said before this deck really relies on the consistency of you drawing your cards especially your great trees in order to survive last but not least we got Eight hey, right Lamedo. Reasons why you run this card as a three off, you can bump it up to four. Actually, it's pretty much uh, switchable between uh, what uh, Escalte Angel, uh, Eight right Lamedo, and Health uh, and Multi Medical Angel. These three cards are interchangeable. Uh, reasons why I run three only is because of the skill, which is Continuous Vanguard during your turn. If a new card spawns, the damage zone this against five k. Really easy to achieve you are these three cards to achieve and if you do your opponent one damage by attacking it's really gains the 5k. Second skill is why I run it is really strong when it boosts if your soul has a great tree, card plus one and your opponent cannot cause sentinels from hand until end of the battle and until at the end of the battle you retire this unit. So almost the exact same skill as Zion, but instead of in terms of retiring itself at the end of the battle, but uh, the second skill is why you run it because it's a free hospital in a sense where you can't last one and your opponent is unable to sentinel. Uh, with you doing a lot of damage checks and inclusive of drive checks, you are bound to get a crit. So you pump the crit onto the grade 2 that is being boosted by Lamedo. You attack with the grade 2, calm blast, the Lamedo skill set, you are unable to use uh, perfect guards or consents if you also has a grade 3. And then your opponent will be forced guard, uh, either to guard with triggers or you know they just take right right out take the uh, two damage right up uh, oh my god my english is horrible but uh yeah triggers wise i run six feet six draws six uh four six feet six six feet six, 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 six draws and four heals uh i think i said this before where the triggers don't really matter you can run eight crits for draws for heals it's really much of preference but i think the six draws six heals really help in a sense where you are able to damage check the heal uh damage check the draw triggers like the normal draw triggers or uh, drive check into the normal draw triggers for you to draw your important pieces as I said before this deck is really consistent uh, in a sense where you're able to get pieces into your hand and you're able to filter out your deck really really well but as I said before this is still an XL slash force meta especially with Narakami running around you're unable to really do much but and Genesis really requires you to have PGs in your hand so take note that this is completely a protect one deck it's not a protect two deck in any sense Please do not go protect too unless you're really really sure of what you're doing because most of the time uh, when you're facing against four stacks especially don't be stupid like that you are and going force uh, going protective in uh, in an opponent where their opponent is playing King Genesis so yeah thank you very much for watching guys hope you guys like this deck recipe I'll be posting my gear chronicle deck recipe it's actually Wilson's gear chronicle not mine but thank you very much for him for lending me and keep a look out for my video we're almost hitting 2k thank you very much for watching and if you're wondering actually what I'm doing currently now why I'm so busy I'm actually infatuated with this game called Arc Knight so yes uh, more about that maybe on my 2k sub video yeah but for now thank you very much for watching this is v shy i'm out peace